Princess Raja here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a story time that I need to talk to you guys about. Um, first and foremost, if you were wondering why down here is red, it's because I had done a facial treatment and it was kind of funny because I had a mask on, but I did a peel off mask and my face is hypersensitive so yeah but just know that if it's like this it means that my dirt and all that shit is cleared okay period and i got my water burger burger right here my sweet and spicy sweet and spicy with no bacon no mustard and no cheese bitch because i'm not cooking tolerant period and i got my water on the side period today i'm gonna be talking about by the way this is clickbait well, not clickbait all the way. This is a story time of about how I worked at a factory for one day. Yeah, 12 hours. And it was very similar to working at Amazon. But it's just a difference. The only difference was they only made igloo boxes. Like those fucking cooler boxes. Yeah. I had worked at the igloo store around north houston north katie you know i don't know what the hell and it was a 12-hour shift and it's my it was my first time working on 12-hour shift usually i would work five to eight hours in for a shift a day and they were requiring us to work 12 hours a day and i had worked the day shift which was 6 a.m to 6 p.m but you can work overnight too. But I was not trying to work no overnight with that 12 hour shift because girl, I need some, and I want the day to myself, period. Well, not the day to myself, cause either or the whole day is gone. Uh -huh. So I recommend if you guys don't want to have a life and you guys don't want to, you know, go outside and shit, go to work, you can work there, work there. Cause listen, the working environment was trash. The fucking it was dirty the fucking i worked in an assembly line um the assembly line you have to like stay in a line and work with each other like there's a person in front of you and this is you right here and you have people beside you and people beside them and then there's like a reclining thing like a table that's moving and well not in this case it wasn't moving we were moving it and we had to like build the igloo boxes and you know drill nails into it to kind of put the igloo box together so my job i had a knife i had like a this is my trunk but i had like a cleaning knife and i had to clean off the mold they had and the mold is like what they use to glue the the two separate containers together to form the igloo box itself and that motherfucker when i tell you it dries fast like cement and it, it gets hard like cement but then when you clean it off it looks like foam like foam you find in a packaging box yeah it's just a weird situation um they made us wear goggles but i wear glasses so i had to wear my glasses and these big ass goggles um i'm fully vaccinated so i didn't have to wear my mask so but i had to wear these green gloves so that i could prevent myself from getting cut but that motherfucker every time my hand slid it would like act like it's gonna cut me like i'll feel the cut look no, i'll feel the sensation but i wouldn't get cut and that was so like it hurt mind you i'm working there for 12 hours and that motherfucker was hurting for 12 hours so like there's a little gap around the igloo box and i would have clean it off i had to clean it off every time but it's like a fast paced assembly line so i can't get you know so everybody you're relying on everybody else to touch it up for you if you can't finish it and i don't like that because i feel like you know i feel like it's a sloppy work and i don't like doing sloppy work when i work so i wasn't liking that also the people there that work there they're kind of older than me like they're like elderly people like they don't some people migrate to the u.s and they don't have any papers if they have papers they don't really have all the access all the flexibility that people who are born in america have so 
that was that would be like a first option they'll work at for right now like a factory or some type of industrial place um but girl or a boy that factory felt like i was a slave like i've put so much respect on these people that have worked their ass off to uh, survive in the u.s they're not from the u.s i have so much respect for y'all it's not even funny because mind you i'm a person that's used to working at least eight hours a day 12 hours the three extra hours feel like it was dragging and the lunch breaks we had not lunch breaks but we had two breaks we had two 30 minutes so we had one 30 minute around 9 30 10 and the second one was at oops i put my middle finger out Ooh. the second one was two o'clock because you had to go by shifts and some people go before you like half an hour before you and you just have to do a rotation let me tell you something i was like the supervisor we had wasn't like wasn't shit because every time i would look for him he'll be gone somewhere else around the factory and the factory is big so and he said we're, we're supposed to only ask him for shit and it's like when i try to ask y'all for shit you're gone you know the fuck so if i leave or i walk out or i go take my break whenever the fuck i want to my break don't say nothing because you got your ass was supposed to be by your by your desk attending to us um and you wasn't now the it was my first day i have went on monday on monday and it uh shit. i came there early and it was half an hour away from my house so I drove, I woke up at 5 o'clock, got ready at five, until 5.10, and then I left to get there, and I got there at 5.46, and it was a long line to get into the parking lot, so once I finally got into the parking lot, I parked my car, went inside, mind you, I was excited, I didn't know what the hell was going to happen, come to find out, my ass, they worked my ass off, like that, like that shit, listen, so I clocked in and then I stood at the line they told me to go to. Well, mind you, we were in an office for like, we were in a uh, the, the office for like uh, almost an hour waiting for our trainer. And he didn't even train us shit. He was just making us do a checklist of what the fuck we gotta do. And he just walked us to the assembly line and just left us. He just threw us in there. And we don't know how to fuck the fuck to work the assembly line because we have never worked in a factory before. So that was very unprofessional. I did not fuck with that. One second, let me take a bite of this burger. Okay, so we were in our office for like almost an hour. And then when he finally came, he didn't even train us. He just threw us out there. And mind you, we, we like I said, we knew. There was supposed to be 40, 40 plus people coming in that day for the first day. And guess how much showed up? This how much showed up. Yeah, three. Me and two other people. Yep. Yep, I'm looking very cockeyed right now because the camera's not this way, it's this way. So, three people. Um, that was a fucking disaster. Like, I do not recommend y'all working at no type of Amazon, no type of fucking igloo, no type of factory. I mean, listen. I'm just one person out of billions of people on the fucking earth. So, if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. I ain't stopping you. But me, never again. Okay? I did it to experience. My parents was begging me to work there and see how it felt. Bitch, I could even last two fucking hours there. I was ready to get the fuck. Once two o'clock came and we had our lunch break, I was ready to fucking dip. And I never had that feeling before to just dip out the job. Y'all, I just had a fucking hamburger. Maybe I have a, I had like fucking four in the past few hours. Like, what the hell's going on in Texas, bro? Like, y'all need to stay the fuck inside then if that's the fucking case. Y'all don't get the hint? I'm gonna have to bleep the hell out of this, um, story time, okay? So, yeah, I was about to, I was feeling a bit, but then I was like, you know what? Let me call my parents and see what they say. And my dad told me, just stay till six. And then he'll talk to me when I get home. Bro, what? I was counting down the minutes. Every hour and a half, I would look at the clock behind me, bitch. Like, I'm looking like, I'm ready to get the fuck. And I knew the supervisor knew that I wanted to get out of there. Okay? So I just played it cool as if I'm coming back the next day. Bitch, I'm not coming back. Once I leave, that's it. 
That's it. So, once five o'clock came, bitch, I was excited. But I was exhausted. Like, bitch, I felt like a robot at this point. My body was aching. It was like a fucking, it was like hell on earth, bro, for real. Like, I felt like I was a slave to the rhythm. And then once six, once five forty something came, I said, we started cleaning up, bitch. I was excited to clean up. Yup. And then once six o'clock, I waited till six o'clock. Some people left earlier, but I wanted my full my hour, bitch. So once six o'clock came, I clocked out and I left. It took me minutes to get home because I was so tired. Like my feet was hurting. I could even push the gas all the way like that. Like everybody, I was on the freeway and the freeway speed is like 60, 65. Bitch, I was going 55 because I was ready to get the fuck to sleep, like for real. So when I got home, my my mom's family friend, she was nice enough to cook dinner because she knew I was coming home. Bitch, I ate like a fucking pig that day. And then I went in my bed and I just fell asleep. But tell me how I woke up at 9.57 at night and I'm thinking I'm late for work, bitch. I'm late for the job, bitch. I'm thinking it's morning. I got scared and I checked, I said, let, me, like, let me check the date. Let me check the actual date. And it was said Monday still. So I was like, oh my God, girl. Like, this job got me fucked up in the head for real. I knew I wasn't gonna go back there. So the next day I had like, they gave us, they had given us booklets and all that shit, like packets before we started the job. So what I did was, I burnt them bitches. Yes, I did. I got my match. Light that bitch on fire. Put it in the pot. Make that shit smoke the fuck up in the, in the backyard. I was not trying to go back there. I burned up all the paperwork. Like, I was not trying to go back. But I'm not stopping nobody from going there because get your money. Because they over here talking about something. Ah, oh, $15 an hour. $15 an hour for people who are seasonal, bitch. I want it to be permanent. And I'm thinking I'm going to get paid $15 an hour. Bitch, I'm going to be getting $10 an hour. Really? Really? For what? I, you could even pay me a billion dollars to work at that bitch. Okay? No, you cannot. So, yeah. I burnt the fuck out of them paperwork. And that was that. Period. But if y'all like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. And always remember to stay spicy, because if you don't stay spicy, then nobody's going to want to taste you, bitch. Bye, y'all.